was uh, happy when Sean called me to uh, work with Livingstone on design build uh, coordination for the Bone Steel House. Um, initially, I met Sean and Paul Bone Steel out at the site of their house, which had recently burned down. Paul and Wendy Bonesteel, and we discussed some of the things they would like to see uh, changed about them. We basically decided we were going to work with the same footprint. Uh, now, some of the things we were we were hoping to change, or at least the Bonesteels were hoping that I could change, was uh, one how the house related with the site, particularly the backyard. There were some issues that they didn't like in the existing house. Um, they also wanted the floor plan to flow much more open uh, than it previously had done. It was much more compartmentalized. So they wanted to open up the floor plan, make it more modern. And then uh, the basement level um, did not have uh, a really functional floor plan. So we came up with a, a floor plan that functioned well for their family's needs. Um, I had also mentioned uh, to the Bone Steels about uh, another house I had designed where I had a sky office. And um, the Bone Steels loved that idea and we came up with the idea of creating a, a really open stair that went up to uh, a sky office that they could use for their family as a music room or an office. And um, pretty much when, when the sky office came into the plan, um, it really drove the plan into what I would call a modern prairie style house. And uh, it really all just came together and uh, I was very happy with the look of it, and certainly the bone steels were too, and we moved forward with it. Um, at that point, we sat down with uh, Sean and, uh, and the design development drawings, and uh, Sean's crew put together an uh, uh, estimate based on the, the drawings, and uh, found out we had to do a little value engineering and bring the cost down a little bit. And uh, so we went back and made those changes and uh, everything seemed to work really well at that, after that point and uh, we were able to move forward with the project. The timing of the project went really fast. Uh, I think from when, when they first hired us, uh, we had design development drawings within 30 days and uh, probably another 30 days we had a full set of working drawings and uh, I, the other day I realized that Paul had said that they were in their new house 10 months after after the previous one had burned down so uh, uh, and they seemed very happy with the house and I know I'm very happy with the way it turned out and of course Livingstone did their great construction that they always do their uh, quality craftsmanship and uh, the house turned out beautiful. I love the clean horizontal lines of the of the house, and uh, you know the, the uh, cedar shiplap siding really uh, emphasizes that. Um, I like the uh, the open stair and the, and the sky office; um, those turn out really nice. Um, it's also one of the first times I've been able to use ICF foundations, um, and that was really nice and, and helpful. Um, it, it's a good product that uh, brings a lot of energy efficiency to the house. They did end up using solar panels in the house, that's correct. Yeah. So uh, they were very concerned about, uh, uh, about energy efficiency and we had Amy Musser as a consultant to uh, help uh, bring us to, uh, to those goals. are actually, uh, it's a uh, steel conduit is what they use. And actually that's not what it was originally designed as. Uh, it was originally designed as um, uh, cable railings. And uh, the Bone Steels actually had seen at Amy Musser's house that she had used that for her railings and they decided to put that in there. And uh, it turned out to be a real sharp one.